Dun, 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 dun. I got my camera back repaired. This is the right here. This is the site of a repaired LCD screen on my Canon. And so let's switch back to the Canon, yeah? And we're back. We're back on the Canon Power Shot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. I mean, in in light, in, in proper light, you can't really tell a huge difference. Well, to the to the regular layman like me, I'm not really into photography like that. Can't tell a huge difference between this and the iPhone. I mean, yeah, you can you can't count. All right, fuck it. I take that back. Anyways, the sound is the biggest the biggest issue to me. The sound on the iPhone's um, mic is records way lower than the Canon. Um, but right now. I took a day off from the Mayday studio. Um, I feel like every now and again I gotta take a day off just to break the monotony, just to mix it up a little bit, work from home. I owe people a laundry list of verses. Um, I owe people a long list of verses, uh, features both for um, clients and both for, you know, I, I say clients, this is artists that I don't know that came to me for a verse. And then uh, for, for, for friends of mine as well, for projects that I'm on. So I got a lot of verses to do, so sometimes it's good to just stay home and try to knock that out. I feel like I've been wanting to talk to the camera a lot more lately. So, let me see if I turn this around. I'm gonna, um, I bought my wife this Canon, the 5D Mark III. Um, and you know, when she's at work, she's not using it. So I'm gonna put this on a tripod and try and get it set up in here. Maybe put a light in here so I could do, you know, when I wanna just talk to the camera, I don't have to like set something up because I like to keep this camera moving with me. So, you know, just me rambling basically for times that I wanna ramble. Why not, right? So I'm working from home today. Um, it's not gonna be a long video today, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's going on. All right, so. I'm working from home today, like I said, and I'm trying to set up new ways for me to keep vlogging. So just to give you like the background on how, like I've had this, I've had a YouTube channel for like 10 years or something like that. It's been a long time. And um, the first couple times that I was doing it just to promote music, um, I put up video, I was putting up all kinds of stuff. Remember back in the days when everyone would just post like whatever videos they could, they didn't care if they owned the rights to it, and then YouTube was super strict, there was no monetization, there was no like claiming, it was just like they would take it down if it was something else. So I, I had uh, like two or three accounts before this account that I have right now that you're on. And the first account got taken down because I put like a commercial up or something that I thought was funny. And then the second account got taken down, I think because of a song I put up that they thought I didn't own. And then the um, third account, which we I had put Win The Game up on from like my first project on South Beat, uh, if when the game got featured by YouTube on the main page, like on the front page, so it was getting, it got you know, got a few, like a hundred thousand hits. It was dope. I was so excited. Yeah, that's ill. We got featured. Dope. And then I put up a um, video of Kimbo Slice fighting. I put actually I had v videos of Kimbo from like you know we go back with Kimbo. We have a history with Kimbo in Miami. And uh, I put videos of him that I had up. I had just collected from the time I knew him. And they took my account down for that. So this is my fourth. YouTube account and for years 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 I didn't put up anything really of any substance I just had like music videos and then um, very little like activity on it and my wife started getting into like vlogging and she put me on to Casey Neistat who I'm sure a lot of y'all know on YouTube and he got me inspired to be like I was watching his vlogs and and they had a, like a, a creative cut to them that I was like man that's dope it made me get excited about doing it and people have been asking me for years to do it so Point being is now I'm trying to put some more energy into it. I'm trying to get a little bit of a better setup. I'm trying to shoot it. It's it's like waking me up because for years I did editing for Mayday videos. I was loving it. I like I like film. I like working in film. I don't know a lot. I'm not super well versed in it, but I I do like to edit. I love to edit. Um, shooting that's a different thing. Shooting is like a beast. I don't fully understand yet. So I'm learning the gear and I'm learning the do's and don'ts as you go as I go. But uh, editing I love. And then for a long time we did all our Mayday videos, all our Mayday promos, everything, and I got super burnt out on it. I didn't want to edit. Um, the new Final Cut came out, I wasn't feeling it, and I dropped it all together. Um, now, doing this vlogging thing has like awoken my my editing chops and my like will to create visuals again, so hopefully that means that 
I'll be hungry to do some dope videos for myself and for Mayday. And um, yeah, so that's that's kind of where I'm at right now with it. So this setting up a camera here, uh, trying to get into some different ways to shoot outdoor footage and B-roll and just things to make this an interesting experience for both of us. That'll be my new challenge for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm here trying to get as much work as I can done this week because uh, next week I'm going to Kansas City. I'm going to Kansas City to try and shoot three videos while I'm there and do all the promo for the next month before the album comes out. Shoot promo videos. Um, we have some contests set up for the street team that we're working on. Uh, we're doing two videos full and one performance uh, shot for one other video and then I'm hoping to come back to Miami and do another two or three videos if possible so that's the goal right now so I'm holding on this week I'm working every day in the studio with Mayday on the next uh, Mayday album search party and then today I took the day off just to get caught up on verses that I owe and get my things in order and work on rehearsing for the show that I have opening up for Tech next month and helping Burns set up his show at Jazzy this Saturday if you're in Miami area. Burns is doing a solo show, it's a rare occasion, at Jazzy, the place where we cut our teeth doing Mayday shows early. So if you're in Miami Saturday night, Jazzy, check it out, it's gonna be dope. So there's a lot going on, I don't have time to shoot a lot today, so I just wanted to say what's up, let you guys know into the further you already know the NES classic is up for the giveaway and my rhyme book <laughs> the rhyme book that I use for into the further is up for giveaway too so pre-order the album strangemusicinc.net I'm gonna try and have some more updates for you guys soon and uh, and I just want to say a shout out to Jaron Benton my homie Jaron Benton who posted up something yesterday that made me like think about man yeah yeah fuck yeah which is like, I don't think enough artists really take full advantage of the technology that we have open to us now. People that, you know, there's people that don't follow anyone back, they don't reply to anyone back. Like, man, this is like a beautiful, like, connection that we're able to have through technology that we could never have. I could have never had this with an artist that I liked 30 years ago. Well, I'm 33, so 20 years ago, right? So, like, I couldn't have been able to, like, at or mention or get a reply back from an artist that I like so that's why I think it's dope if you're an artist I feel like you should engage the fuck out of your fans and I try to do my best on every single network that I can get on that you know I can at least manage like send out a, a manageable amount of replies to everybody so um, if we've had a conversation on social media or even on YouTube down below that's dope thanks for fucking writing in and I hope um, Man, I hope like the exchange brings you some positivity. Like I'm, I'm on a mission to follow a million people on Twitter. It's, it's taking forever, and without hiring someone else to do it for me, just just clicking like follows as, as they come, it's gonna take a while. I'm at like forty thousand right now. But the point is that when I go through a day of following people on Twitter, the reaction is like pure positive vibes. You know, like people that are fans that didn't know I was on Twitter or just like didn't know that I was gonna follow them. It's just a dope feeling, man. It's a dope feeling, and then you get to just like exchange with new people, which is dope I, I dig it and in a world where we're so like in our own little realities and filming ourselves and doing what we're doing now it's dope to have real exchanges so that's why going on tour is dope and that's why using social media at least to connect in a somewhat manageable real way is is valuable to me so, so yeah that being said holler at me on any social media i get to you when i can um more to come i, I i'm not doing daily vlogs but it would be cool if i could get it under some sort of schedule but Getting closer to the album, I'm going to try and do as many as I can. And hopefully, maybe the last like week or two before the album, I could do daily joints. Um, but for now, it's, you know, my once or twice a week. Anyways, peace. Thanks for watching. Ain't nobody going to be stopping us Please. Here. This could be you. This could be me. You see, it only takes a few seconds to bleed. My soul.